I'm Neil Godbold. I'm the head examiner for the IKO in Great Britain. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to do a self-rescue if you should ever get into any bother. Normally, of course, we'd have a board with us, but for the purposes of this training exercise, we're just going to assume that we've leashed that off on our safety leash so that we don't have to think about it. Normally, of course, we don't ride with a leash for safety reasons. This is just what you carry for emergencies. Okay, the first thing you need to consider is to get rid of the power of the kite. So you need to pull your safety release system to activate whatever system you have on your kite. So learn about the system on your kite first before you go out. What we're using today is a fairly standard one that you'd find in most kites around. It's a big red toggle we're looking for, which is based down on the chicken loop. And when we pull this, it activates the system. So we pull and release. And now we're on our re-ride system and the kite is depowered. Your bar will have now slid down the re-ride line to the stopper mark. You now need to get back to your bar by moving hand over hand to ensure that if anything should hit your lines or the kite repowers, your fingers are safe. When you reach your stopper, it's important to lock it over your bar so it takes the pressure again off your fingers. Next thing is to tidy up this uh, re-ride line. It's important again to keep yourself from getting tangled. Be systematic and tidy all the way through. Just figure of eight the whole load of this back onto your bar, out of the way. Up to the point that you come to your leash. Do not wind your leash onto the bar because you need this later on. Now what I'm going to do is to pick up all of these leader lines, lock it over the loose line so it won't come unraveled, and then start to figure of eight everything on towards my kite. When you're around about a metre from the corner of your kite, you need to think about locking these lines off so you don't lose them all again. To do this and to keep your fingers safe, pull the kite in towards you until you reach the corner and tuck this under your elbow. Now I have slack in the line. It means I can half hitch over the top and as you can see the lines are now locking off. That means I don't have to worry about looking after my bar after this. And I can let go of this bar and that's it. When you've reached your kite, you now need to use it as a signal device and also potentially for keeping yourself afloat whilst you're waiting for the lifeboat to come to you. Now to do this we need to turn it over and I'm going to show you that in a minute. The technique essentially is we need to raise the corner of the kite by tucking one end under. This will create an airspace. The wind will then get into that corner of the kite. Then using my shoulder, I'm going to dig my shoulder into the leading edge of the kite, push forward, and the wind will catch that airspace and throw the kite forward for you, rolling out downwind. And finally, it will be sitting in a horseshoe shape, good and visible to the shore or any lifeboat looking for you, and it means you can climb on board, get out of the water, out of the exposure. Once you've turned your kite over, you need to get to the centre of it. From here you can make a decision of whether you're going to sit in your kite and wait for the lifeboat to recover you, or whether you're going to get back to the shore under your own steam. Two ways of doing this is one, to swim in from this position, holding onto the kite, normally only if you're quite close to the shore. The second system is to bring the two wingtips together and use the kite as a, a sail on the surface of the water. However, now what we're going to look at is the final thing. It's the pack down once the boat has arrived and only once the boat has arrived. So the thing I'm going to do from here is to release the air from this centre valve, although there may be valves all over the kite. This is the release system for this one. I'm going to pop this out and let the kite down. Very important when you're on the water is to restop the valve the whole time so that it doesn't now fill with water. However, for the purposes of this being on the land, I'll leave this open. We now move back to the original corner of our kite so that we can begin to roll this in and pack it down. First thing I do is I'm going to roll this wingtip over the top and recollect my bar. We place the bar inside the wingtip, and the two important points are one, we keep the leash out of the leading edge of the kite as we pack it in, and two, 
that we pick up all of these loose lines, putting them into the kite as we wrap it up to keep everything tidy, prevent the boat and ourselves being tangled. Then we roll the whole thing up towards the centre tube and at that point we stop. So I'll roll that in first. When you reach the centre of the kite, you want to stay where you are. You don't want to move about and risk being caught up in any of the last bits of line, but you do need to wrap the rest of the kite in. So we're going to pull the sail in towards us, get to the other wing tip, roll it back on itself until everything ends up in the centre. Finally, use that leash that you stuck out of the front of the kite, wrap it around the kite so you can lock it off, then you can hand it up to the boat nice and safely. And then guys, that's your self-rescue technique sorted out.